welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Harrison Ford interview moments. Yeah, every time you're on, you get mad at me within seconds. I was mad at you before I even <laughs> got out I here. went backstage to say hi, and he punched me in the get face. Out of here. For this list, we'll be looking at this legendary movie star's most hysterical bits from talk shows and junkets, which are always a laugh riot. What do you think is Harrison Ford's best character? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Raiders Sword Story – Late Night with Conan O'Brien We all know that iconic comedic beat from Raiders of the Lost Ark, where Indy shoots the swordsman. And, like as not, you've probably also heard that they nixed the planned extended fight scene because Harrison Ford had dysentery at the time. <laughs> But you never really hear about it from the swordsman's point of view, do you? Well, he was played by a man named Terry Richards, who Ford claims in this interview had spent a long time preparing for the scene. Poor guy, I mean, he had been training for three months. To... Stephen, in, you know, thought that you could throw a salami up in the air and slice it like right. in the deli slices. Naturally, like anyone whose hard work gets thrown down the drain, Richards apparently didn't take it so well when he learned of the quick rewrite. And they told him, you know, what, what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot you. And he was really upset. <laughs> Well, at least Richards got to be part of the film history, while we got a hilarious anecdote. Number 9. Remembering the Holiday Special – Late Night with Conan O'Brien There's this image of Harrison Ford that's out there that you're grumpy. There's this, there's this grumpy Harrison Ford image. That's horrible. Harrison Ford's definitely exuded a kind of grumpy aura in his later years, as Conan O'Brien points out here. But we'd argue that's exactly where he feels most at home in his comedic sensibilities. When O'Brien brings up the Star Wars holiday special, however, Ford doesn't need much reason to be unenthused. Do you remember making this Christmas special? I think it was 1978. No, you don't remember it? For any Star Wars fan who's been so fortunate as to not see the holiday special, just know it exists. Well, you look at Lumpy. He's sure grown, huh? I think his voice is changing. Come on, I'm just teasing. Ford, on the other hand, feigns ignorance about it here. Or if he really has repressed it, good for him. In any case, O'Brien forces Ford to relive the franchise's biggest mistake, and it is late night gold. Happy Life Day, Harrison Ford. What if I were to tell you that I had a little piece of tape right now? <laughs> Number 8. Scotching It Up – The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon Historically speaking, booze and talk shows make for pretty unhinged bedfellows. So when Jimmy Fallon broke out a bottle of scotch for himself and Harrison Ford, we knew we were in for a good time. No, I don't know how I to pronounce it. I can't pronounce it, but I, but, no, I, I know how to uh, break uh, pronounce it. it. No, because I, I drunk, I, I, <laughs> I had I, a little bit of it in a movie uh, that I made, and it's called Bruchladek. Ford initially looks unsure about it, asking if it was okay. Fallon immediately reassures him only to learn that the actor wasn't asking him, but his wife, Kalista Flockhart. Is it okay? Well, yeah, I think we're allowed to do it. I mean, so, you're Harrison Ford. Uh, we're, we're allowed to do whatever we no, want to do. Not okay with you, okay with my wife. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> with the comedic juices flowing, Fallon and Ford trade a few jokes. But Fallon's lewd ending has Ford again thinking of Flockhart. Second apology of the night to my wife. <laughs> I didn't know when I, I came know, I'll here. I'll, I'll give you <laughs> what I was getting myself I'll, into. I'll we, for one, prefer Ford's joke over Fallon's. There are no fish under the ice. <laughs> Is that you, God? And the voice says, no, it's the ice rink manager. <laughs> Number 7. Begging to have Han killed 
Jimmy Kimmel Live. You were here in October uh, promoting Star Wars, and here you are again in March promoting Star Wars. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Spoiler alert if you're the one person who hasn't seen The Force Awakens yet, but yes, Han Solo does indeed die in the film. <laughs> Harrison Ford has been pretty vocal for years about his desire for Han to perish in the original trilogy. Lucasfilm eventually made good on that request over 30 years later. And when the movie hit home media a few months later, Ford finally got to take his victory lap. You work for like 25 years for uh -huh. the company. Yeah. You do your best. Uh -huh. You show up every day. You do your job. Uh -huh. And then they just let you go. <laughs> For the most part, people were surprised to learn of Han's fate, which is in itself surprising in today's day and age of things leaking onto the internet. But maybe we also have Harrison Ford to thank for that. I think people knew that they would actually get killed if they revealed the ending of the movie. I think they knew that I would show up at their house and beat the <laughs> out of them. Number 6. Indiana Jones Trivia – Late Night with Conan O'Brien Despite starring in some of the most popular movie franchises of all time, Harrison Ford isn't necessarily a homegrown fanboy. Otherwise, he'd definitely have more props and memorabilia around his house. I don't want all that crap around my house. <laughs> uh huh. You don't want that crap around your house? No, I mean, I don't, I don't need all that. I'm a very rich man. <laughs> As if to specifically get Ford to reject the adoration of his own movies, Conan O'Brien once brought out an Indiana Jones superfan in honour of the release of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Only it didn't start out the way he expected. He's a nice looking man. He's a nice looking man, yes. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> this isn't going the way I thought it would. After having his looks admired by the actor, the superfan goes into extreme detail on Indy's various whips, but it's Ford's answer to the trivia question that really gets the chuckles. What was the colour of the original whip's fall? <laughs> Who gives a <laughs> Number 5. Star Wars Bribe – Conan <laughs> This is a real thousand dollars. I will give you this money if you tell us something about the new Star Wars film. Just because The Force Awakens wasn't spoiled doesn't mean that there weren't people looking to get the deets. And one of them was none other than Conan O'Brien. Back in 2013, when pre-production was ramping up, O'Brien had Ford on the show and tried to get him to talk with that sweet, sweet green. A long time ago. <laughs> A long time ago! In a place far, far away. <laughs> I forget the rest. <laughs> Ford, of course, plays it coy, telling them things they already know, or at best could have surmised themselves. Um, but I hear they're, uh, uh, they're thinking of, of doing another one. <laughs> Well, apparently O'Brien was out a cool thousand, as they weren't getting anything out of Ford. O'Brien did have the right idea, though, as Ford's been very candid about what his time is worth. Billy <laughs> said, would you be interested? I said, how much? As when, <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Number four, the de-aged man in the mirror. The Late Show was Stephen Colbert. Harrison Ford has been in some pretty high-profile movies the last decade or so. He'll even be joining the MCU in taking over the role previously held by the late great William Hurt. But again, don't expect him to spill the beans. He's not Tom Holland after all. Uh, where do you guys meet? Where do you and Captain America meet in the first scene? Um, at, at, at a disco. In the lead up to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Stephen Colbert sat Ford down to marvel over the de-aging done on him for the movie which, admittedly, looks pretty convincing. 
You're Harrison Ford. Of course we're going to do a lot of work for Harrison Ford. I used to This be. isn't Jason Siegel we're talking about. Come on. I'm just joking. I'm yeah. just joking. Jason. I know who he was. OK. Ford was, and still is, a pretty handsome guy. So we totally understand when he says that's all he sees in the mirror. Does it freak you out to see this, or is like... Or in your mind, this is what you look like all the time. That's what I see when I look in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. On a good day, you're all we see in a mirror too, Harrison. Number three, recreating the I Know line, The Graham Norton Show. Ask any Star Wars fan and there's a good chance they'll say the best line comes from Han in The Empire Strikes Back. I love you. I know. When Ford was on the Graham Norton show, the eponymous host decided to use some audience participation to recreate the iconic exchange. I love you. I know. We've all wanted to tell Harrison Ford we love him, so credit the actor for being totally game for the whole bit. Well, at least for the first one. Miss Hannah, what's your name? Joker. What? Joker. From Belgium. Joker. Joker. Yoko. Joker. Joker. Yes. Oh, leave her alone. <laughs> By the time the second guest stands up, he decides to get a little cheeky about the whole thing, which is certainly on brand for Ford. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! Almost as magical as in the movie. Number two, punching Ryan Gosling. Various. I read about the character that um, uh, Ryan. Ryan? It's Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> the press tour for Blade Runner 2049 with Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling was so funny that we demand an entire comedy movie from the two. The various interviewers definitely had a lot of ammunition, though, as the story broke that Ford had inadvertently clocked Gosling while filming a scene. But you weren't meant to punch him. Right? Oh, I misread the script. <laughs> Obviously, it was a total accident and was played for laughs later on. But tell that to in the moment Harrison Ford, who initially thought he'd just injured the movie's lead actor. But is that is that the face of regret or is that just kind of I really hurt my hand? No, that's <laughs> that's the face of oh shit, I'm in deep doo doo. <laughs> also, tell that to Gosling himself who realized that getting punched isn't very fun under any circumstances. The story is that I missed him 99 times, and yeah, I no, You and know, I they say once. don't meet your heroes. I would say don't get punched by them. <laughs> Turns out it doesn't matter who you're getting punched by. It's uh, still just getting punched. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, breaking Han's leg. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Not to again poke fun at onset injuries, but the anecdotes are just too good. And, and you too. bring up J.J. Abrams. No, I won't. Well, Why? Because he directed, he directed you in Star Wars The he Force did? Awakens. Yes, and he got injured trying to help you because you got hurt oh, as well. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> You fell. What a pity. We were <laughs> While filming The Force Awakens, Harrison Ford had his leg fractured when the hydraulic door for the Millennium Falcon came down on him. Ford thankfully recovered quickly, leading to this hysterical interview with Jimmy Fallon. Fallon presents Ford with a Han Solo action figure, asking him to indicate where he was hurt. Ford is all too eager to oblige, venting his frustrations out on the toy. This one, that one they was dislocated the ankle. ankle. Forward. <laughs> hey, that's worth a lot of money. That's an original. And then they that's broke the his leg. Oh, hey, get it, hey, come on. He even gets a little too enthusiastic, as little Han loses a lot more than a leg. <laughs> Go, congratulations. Go. Let's not. <laughs> let's, congratulations. let's not talk about that accident. <laughs> Speaking of costuming, Fallon then asks Ford if he got emotional trying on the old duds, prompting a classic Ford denial. Did you, did you, did you get emotional when you put the uh, uh, wardrobe on? No, I got paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.